Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913 and we are let's playing Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, I wish I had something. In the last episode, we broke into McNeil Manor and Ray is nowhere, oh, Ray is nowhere to be seen. And it is a scary ghost place. And you know what? I'm going to show this battle. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can't guarantee that Tipo can one-shot it, or... Don't kill it. Thank you. Yep. And look, see? Tipo can two-kill anything. I love it. So, let's continue. Searching the drawers of the McNeil Manor. And we found a vitamin. Very nice. Let's talk to this guy. I don't know, something about this house gives me the creeps. I can never sleep. If you want to use the bed, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Why not? We'll sleep. And I guess we're taking a full-on nap. Like a full-on sleep or something. But it's probably not a good idea to sleep in a haunted house. Nah, I'm good, thank you. No, I think Ryu got, yep. Ryu is back to full HP and I'm gonna have to kill him, but tipo has got his magic back, which is actually what I wanted. All right, something smells burnt. Anything here? Let's check this thing. All right, we got 120 zenny. Nice, now as you can see, Ryu's HP was 100, I mean 100, was 25 before and now it's 22. Alright, out of my way. Um, let's go upstairs first. Oh, we got a new enemy guard. Which I'm gonna do and then have Ryu attack himself. Now, if you're playing this game, and you're not, I mean, you don't really care about mastering things, then you don't have to worry about, like, keeping your characters at a low level. Just go through the game, but... I'm going to try to show off as many masters and things and such as I possibly can, so... Yeah, and people went up a level. Last battle. Okay. Here we are. More bids. We get a magic shard, which I believe boosts your MP. I might give that to Ryu right now. But I'll probably wait. Anyways, we got all this crap. And we can't go that way. So let's go upstairs. And as you can see, we come up here. We can search these crates. And find a taser, which is in a... Which is a battle item. Does, a, I think, electric damage or something. Wind. And we can't, anyways, we can't get out that door. I'm not even going to bother looking. Okay, beat more roaches. This guy needs to get his house all exterminated and crap. Come on, man. Well, you're supposed to be rich and junk. Alright, there's nothing over there. So I guess we do have to head upstairs. Alright, let's keep going upstairs. Alright, there's some that way, but let's go this way first. Okay, well, I'm going to show this battle. And I'm um, basically going to defend with Tipo. Attack with Ryu. Alright. And let's use that Typhoon spell. Let's see how that works. And then there's a magic ball. Not bad. And then Magic Ball basically is an ability, a spell, which incre which uh, attacks an enemy using, depending on, uh, well, it's damages depending on your intelligence. It's pretty good, I guess. The smarter you get, the, s the stronger that ball gets. Ooh, clock, but no, nope, not Final Fantasy VI. No elixirs here. Nothing. Ok, 
Okay, anything new? Uh, maybe there's something there. We got 40 zenny. Nice. And we have a library. The flow of money in and out of the manor. Oh, interesting. Alright, let's keep looking. The McNeil 6. Nothing about the 6 McNeil. It's all very boring. Nothing there. Yeah, well, are you gonna expound on how these uh, are interesting? Okay, so I guess McNeil 1. The struggles of the first McNeil are written in the book. The McNeils 2. This book talks about the exploits of the second McNeil. Yes, I get it. Anything interesting? The moralization of the third McNeil. So, is the third McNeil nice? Yeah, probably because these McNeils are pieces of garbage. And see, the door is nailed shut, just like that door right there. If you didn't learn jump from Rocky back there, you can learn it from these roaches here if you'd like. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, is there anything over here? New. Actually, let's use a healing herb on Tipo. We're doing pretty good though. Nothing. Found a vitamin. Nothing. Anything here? We found some gems. Ooh. All right. Let's check this last thing. Nothing. And there's. Uh, we can't get over there. So let's go this way. Running. And look, there's McNeil. Maybe. Welcome, my little friends. I'm McNeil, the owner of this mansion. Hey, hey. Look at that. Can we have tax money? Really? Well, that makes things simple then. You are the villain we've been looking for. Give us your money. Ho, ho, ho. Me, Santa Claus? I'm not a villain. Because I collect taxes from my people. Well, the rent is too damn high, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong, Ryu? He's a ghost! What? He's a, an imposter? Really? Ho 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 ho! Me? Santa Claus? No, I'm McNeil. Cassin McNeil, the spirit of the third McNeil. Uh oh. More ghosts. You think you'd just be able to take that? Which we've handed down through the generations? Yeah, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it and you're gonna you're gonna give it, you know what I mean? Attack and kill yourself, right? And this guy likes to drain your power or your HP and whatnot and your MP. Mm, but you didn't. I'm afraid of ghosts. And now we have an extra. Uh, let's raise intelligence. We do it, it'll max times two. Let's do this. And now this guy is also susceptible to fire, but he's also susceptible to those silver sword, uh, silver knives too. But let's use this now that our we've doubled our intelligence. And look at that, not too bad. We killed them with magic. Mm -hmm. We win. Yeah. Go away, McNeil. Impossible, you've defeated me. But I'm not the last. You haven't seen the last of the McNeils. Yeah. Oh, I get the hell out of here. Seriously. Nobody told us this place was haunted. 
Hey, Ryu, how come you're such a crybaby? But you're not afraid of ghosts. That's a good question, Tipo. One which would probably never be answered. I mean, he doesn't like violence. What do you want? He just doesn't like it. Not his cup of tea. Alright, let's keep heading on. I'm assuming this is like an outside balcony of the house, maybe? It's a pretty crazy, creepy place. Nothing. What's over here? We found a pancia, which I believe cures all your status effects or ailments. Alright, let's go downstairs. That's as far as you go. Look, look at this. Another guy. We're gonna get attacked by another McNeil already. You deserve praise for getting this far, but all the ghosts here sure talk a lot, huh? Yeah, they do. You will go no further. I could tell. The twelfth McNeil will see you to that. Your saving days are over. You know. I always thought ghosts were really creepy. You know. But yeah, they're actually they're actually quite gentle in the way that they. Well, actually, let's attack. Why you shouldn't be able to kill him? So, come on. There we go. As long as Tipo doesn't do like a critical. And this guy likes making your attacks. Stuff. Take away. Ah, good. No, don't recover with your willpower. Son of a bee. Anyways, yeah, that's something to this game. Like in the last game. Sometimes when you're KO'd, you actually uh, can uh, come back to life if you got like willpower. Although, I don't think it's an actual stat in this game like it was in the other game. Whoa, whoa. You shouldn't be smoking blunts around kids. Come on now. And he's gone. And we win. But if they're all like this one here... The ones here, they're not really scary at all, are they? No, they're, these ghosts are pretty much pansies. They suck ass. Nothing. Are you Mina? Sometimes at night, even through... Oh, there's no one there. I hear voices coming from that room. Well, what do you expect? You work in a haunted house. Even though I work here, I really hate this house. It's too big. The layout's weird and it's just spooky. Well, you got that right. And we get a multivitamin, which is like the Flintstone chewables. Well, I don't know. Cures all status, restores all HP. So that that heals up all your HP. Very nice. Flintstones, kids. All right. All right, we're well, doing pretty good here. We're almost, I think, halfway. We're in the uh, chef area. We get herbs. Nothing. Hello, chef. Look at this. Would you even the doors of the kitchen are all boarded up? I don't know if he's afraid of thieves or what. It's just not normal, I tell you. Well, maybe someone should. Uh, Maybe you people should murder him or something, I don't know. Alright, let's go upstairs. To the boarded up area, where this guy is. There used to be a lot of servants here, but since the mayor's too cheap, they all quit. Well, who wouldn't quit? I mean, this place sucks. 600 zenny. Alright, let's keep heading on down. Yeah, and, uh, nah, screw it, let's just keep going. To this door. Oh, it looks like another ghost. They kind of remind me of Boo's from Mario Brothers. Stop right there, don't think you'll leave alive. Oh boy. Hi, the eighth. We know, we know. You're a McNeil, right? Come on, let's get it over with. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even want to hear about your bullshit story. Dorkson. 
You know what? Dorkson doesn't get a lot of respect, probably. His name's Dokson. Or Dorkson, as I like to call him. Don't, don't critical, thank you. Oh, this guy likes this. What are you doing? You don't heal Ryu. Why would you do that? Now I gotta kill him. I have to kill him even faster. Oh, come on. Heal Tipo, yeah, there you go. See, so you know what, this guy is getting a bum rap, he's healing us. What a nice fella. What a nice ghosty. There we go. Lay down and die. Now it's time to finish you off, Dorkson. And let's use a little fire blast, why not, right? Wow, I thought you were weak to fire. Interesting. Well, just let's take him out with their attacks then. You figure this guy would heal himself rather than uh, heal us, but whatever, I'll take it. And he's down. How many McNeils am I gonna have to fight here? You think maybe I should have let him tell us his name? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Well, let's not worry about it. Come on, Mike. Yeah, let's not even worry about it. He's a he's a no waste. He's a crap. You were being too great, grandfather. Oh, looks like all the McNeils are talking in here. <laughs> they got me before I said my name. Yeah, well, you never shut the hell up. Yes. Our only hope is the living McNeil, the 13th. Yeah, well, where the hell is he? I don't think he's up to it. Yeah, where the hell... Where the hell is this McNeil? Okay, so we can use the elevator. Excellent. Yes, I do. And hopefully we're almost at... I think we're almost at... We're definitely near the halfway point. I know that. We're just about there, or over halfway, I don't know, but here's where I'm going to stop. As the game prompts us, probably, what's a bed doing here? I don't know, maybe servants sleep in the attic? Ah, uh, nah, I don't need to rest. But, I'm actually going to stop here, and in the next episode, we'll continue on our, well, maybe I can rest. Uh, anyways, I'm going to stop here, and the next episode, we'll continue through McNeil Manor, hopefully we can, uh, Find the living McNeil, maybe murder him, take his money. See ya!